my life now. <laughs> Good evening all and welcome to round three of the Sim Zone Sans X Energy Clio Cup Season 1. We are here. Um, at the moment, it's a dry Brands Hatch in the UK. Um, but the race will be wet, I believe, as we just see Windsor there doing a nice wee spin, half spin, facing the wrong direction, doing his best impression of uh, Sebastian Vettel in a Ferrari. Uh, I am Killian, also known as Green Pies, um, and I was meant to be joined by Nicky. He said he set a reminder f uh, for it, but it turns out he has uh, fallen off his bike. He is okay, um, but yeah, prayers out to Nicky. Um, apparently he ripped his leather, so, but apparently it's good, so that's good news. But onto the action here. Um, this is a practice session, um, and then the race will be, I'm still trying to learn it myself, it's I believe a reverse grid order of the second race. So, I can't remember what it was last week, actually, you know what, I'll quickly get it up now standings so it will be Vligrik will be starting on pole in second will be Falgest and in third it will be on orthodubs so that will be the top three I believe um, starting here I had a bit of a brain fart there um, I just like to thank everyone who's uh, who's watching currently and who's liked the stream and subscribed um, I'm just seeing some messages here. Uh, nice girl is saying evening all looking forward to a bit of crazy Cleo's action tonight Good luck to all the drivers and we are seeing bonus points for the longest time spent on two wheels That would be uh, that would be hard to uh, Steward that but you know <laughs> And it's possible uh, Jan saying evening everybody uh, Special force group uh, also known as chocolate man Put on a good show fellas good luck to all yeah i'm sure these guys will put on a good show for the past uh two rounds there has been so much action and there has been one two three there have been four different race winners so there's a high high chance there's going to be another race winner here tonight um in one of these three races that we have lined up for you Currently, uh, this man, John Boy, setting the pace in the practice session. He is getting a lovely toe off all these cars in front of him. And toe in these cars, if you've watched the past two rounds, it is so, so powerful. Oh, as we just see, I believe that's McGlenn going round. Um, where is he? Where is he? Yeah, McGlenn spinning round there. I'm not sure if someone spun him round or he spun by himself. Um, it's highly possible that he just spun by himself. As we're just getting support in there from uh, Jan, also known as The Wall, saying, let's go Windsor, McGlenn, and of course, Dan the Man. Well, Dan the Man, let's ride on board with him here as I quickly thank all of our lovely patrons. Uh, G sent me the message here. So in the sub zone, we have got ESR Chef, who, uh, who races in the touring cars. He's extremely fast in the touring cars. He wasn't there last night. But last night in the turn cars was a really good race. Um, the X Mech Online, Ratchet 17, Delore, and Xander Flander, they're all in the sub zone. As we just see cars all over the place there, as Dan is just driving all the way around. I think this is an outlap. I don't know. Um, we will find out in a second. In the zone expert, we have got Mudder Morgan, Camber, Marty Road Racing uh, is Life, Duke Martin, Mark Afford, Veilside Racing and Tiger Man Wolf Guy, who I believe is a new patron, so thank you to all those guys. And in the Zone Master, we've got Nikki. I uh, hope he gets well soon. We've got Jan, also known as The Wall. We've got Windsor. We've got Kenny202021. 20, 20, and we've got Yarmo, who I believe is a new patron. So thank you to all the patrons for helping support uh, us here at the Sim Zone. Um, the patron money goes directly uh, back into the Sim Zone. And it helps fund our ACC servers and the website and all that. Um, as Cosmic Mike is saying, lively buggers these Cleos. Oh, they really are. There will be a race to the end 
No one really gets a dominant win in these Clios. The most dominant it gets is, I think, like two seconds. Um, but apart from that, yeah. Dan seems to be struggling, though. He does seem... Oh, oh, as he... <laughs> He just gets that rear end a wee bit, stepping out on him. Um, Dan in these Clios is a monster in the wet. And I believe the first race is where I will quickly get it up. I am a one-man show once again, so I've got to be doing everything by myself. Uh, but I don't mind that. Let us quickly get up Clio race info. Uh, race 3, or uh, round 3, Grand Hatch. Yes, so prick practice which we are currently in it's heavy cloud then race one will be rain light rain heavy cloud light rain so it will have an intermit where there is no rain um then we have got uh race two will be dry and race three will also be dry so we will have a bit of rain we are in the uk after all oh as we just see oh i believe that's cob yeah that was cob very close to just taking out on orthodox there who i who is our championship leader so this is the man to beat uh, let us see how many points he is leading by i know it's close um dan is oh never mind <laughs> dan is actually leading by 41 points so he's actually got quite a dominant lead last week it was close if i looked uh last week or two weeks ago um, never mind, that wasn't even close either. I must be thinking about the touring cars, my bad. Um, because I believe it is the touring cars. But, da oh, I was about to say he's struggling. No, he puts it up into third place. Lovely time there from Dan. Oh, as he goes off the track. Does he save it or does he hit the wall? Oh, it just seems like he just about saves it from going into the wall. But John Boy still setting the pace here in the dry at Brands Hatch Indy tonight. And just a reminder guys, if you do like what you're seeing, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, go to www.thesimzone.com and you know, sign up, join the Discord, do all that shebang, you know? You know you wanna. Amazing Pybo coming in and saying, good luck to all, great to see some familiar names. Yes, um, I'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 out of uh, these 16 drivers that I know very well. The only ones that I wouldn't know is probably Pupney, who I believe is new to the Sim Zone. Uh, he wasn't in any of the leagues before. The names that we uh, don't speak of, and Windsor, who's also new to this, uh, new in the Sim Zone. But the rest of them, we all know them, we all love them. John Boy on a roll here though. Can he come across and set a faster lap time? Let's go sit on his roof as he goes up this hill. No, he's two and a half tenths down on his fastest time. As he goes sideways through that corner. I believe we're going to see a lot of that during the race maybe. Excuse me. As uh, he will have time to do this lap and... Excuse me. And he will, I think, maybe just about get across. Excuse me the line to have one last chance um, because it's a 50 second lap time for him um, and he crossed the line and he had a minute left so he's going to cross the line with just 10 seconds Ooh, very close there to that yellow car don't know who that is he drifts around the corner in third gear he has definitely lost time but he will have one more chance but I'm fairly sure he probably did that fastest lap on um with the slipstream, yeah, he's three and a half tenths down, so maybe the drifting isn't helping him after all. Also, just a quick uh, public announcement for everyone's safety. There seems to be a hack going around on Instagram. Um, so if one of your friends sends you a link, um, and basically if one of your friends send a link that links you to something that asks you to put in your Instagram password, do not put that in. So many people have fallen for that hack. Uh, I get multiple of them every day of my friends who've fallen for the hack. Um, it's a scam, it's a hack. They'll hack into your account and just spam all your friends. So just a quick uh, warning there for everyone watching. Um, 
because tech safety, online safety is very important. And you don't be needing uh, to get your accounts hacked. As Craig comes across the line, he's going to be the last person to come across the line in this practice session. So, yes. Uh, Ranger from the dead. Is that Ranger or Ranger? I know Ranger is a term for gingers. Um, come on, Sam. The silent dig, McGlenn. Oh, as the rain is heavy there. Yeah, I don't know what that, any of that means. <laughs> but uh, as these guys are just getting their wet setups on. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, actually, wait, you know what? Let's get the grid order up. Is it reverse championship order or what? I'll be honest, I don't actually know. Who knows? All right, okay, it's up now. So Windsor will be in first. I know I'm a bit behind. Cobb will be in second. John Boy is in third. Morton Morgan is fourth. I'm watching this on the stream. Just by the way, McLean is in fifth. Melted Dazzer is in sixth. Uh, Pupney is in seventh. Craig is in eighth. Grandad Stee in ninth. Ligrick is in tenth. Delore is 11th, Kurt is 12th, uh, Sam Thumbfinger is in 13th, the only G is in 14th, Falgas in 15th, and to round off the grid, it is Unorthodob in 16th place. Yeah, I just had to mute myself just to see how far behind I was there, and I was a, uh, I was a decent bit behind there. But you know what? <laughs> we'll not speak about it. So yes, um, once they ready up and they get going, they're going to do a slow lap. The max speed that they're going to go is 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per, per hour for those who uh, are normal and use kilometers per hour. Um, so Windsor will be uh, having to go halfway up the grid. He starts in 17th at the moment. So they're all going to have to let him by. And Dan is... Uh, where is Dan at? Dan is... Uh, Dan's going to have to drop all the way back. So... Windsor will be the man starting uh, this race off in first place. As they all get going. Someone's just sitting there on the grid. Really not making life easy. Here comes the man of the hour, Windsor. He's up into sixth place. And uh, just, guys, this is not the slowest start in the world this is them going onto their formation lap um, it's not the slowest start in the world your uh, YouTube isn't broken so everything's good uh, just some messages coming in nice guy Ollie who I believe is Sam Thumbfinger's older brother uh, saying oh that's cool yeah it really is amazing pie boy coming in saying yes yeah, some good production value there boys yes uh, once again that is thanks to our patrons we're able to do more um, with the money that comes through uh, for our patrons, we're able to get better graphics cards for the stream um, and the whole shebang. Sadly, we're not using that graphics card right now, though, as the only G who is uh, the man with the graphics card is actually in the race. But for all the ACC races and for F1, whenever we eventually have it, he will be using the graphics card, I believe. Uh, as Kenny coming in saying good evening, everyone, good luck, Windsor. Yeah, Windsor has the weight of his world on his shoulder. Once he gets around this corner, he can go at any point. But one man, I'm just going to quickly say, to watch out for is Unorthodubs on this timing tower. Unorthodubs is going to make his way up this timing tower super quickly. So at any point now, Windsor can go. Any point now, Windsor can go. He is holding the pack up. He knows if he goes right now, he's going to be absolutely mugged. And it seems he's off. As we just see there, Windsor getting a decent getaway. He's not getting mugged to the line at all. As we just see the roll coming through. McGlenn seems to be making a move up there on Melted Dazzer. And he gets the move done. As our cameraman is just looking over them. Everyone seems to make it through turn one. Completely fine. But Cobb. Oh my. I completely missed this. Uh, Cobb has taken the lead up from John Boy from Moda Morgan. Uh, all the way down. Uh, Windsor drops down to fourth. Oh no. Windsor having an absolute horror show going into turn two. That is not what he wants, and uh, Cobb now taking the lead from John Boy. This is a... Ooh! John Boy having a lovely save there. Um, 
but remember this is a 20 minute race um about two minutes were taken up by the outlap but it is now well it's a 17 minute race now so anything can happen as we see a huge battle here windsor holding off piopney there um well chasing down melted dazzer this is some uh, this is some crazy racing i don't know where to be watching Ooh, as windsor gets taken off oh no i'm not sure what happened there that is uh that's some horrific news for him as john boy and Morta morgan are both racing it out for second place right now i'm just quickly going to watch this back on the stream these guys are all battling it out hard and oh it looks like windsor took himself out there just watching that back on the stream that is painful to watch back this boy was racing it hard though As we just ride on board here with Craig and we'll be reading the sponsors of Pjopni's car there in these wet conditions. Um, we'll just go back to the outboard and we can see Grandad Stee looking to make up the move up the inside. These guys are going two by two down the main straight. Uh, Motor Morgan and John Boy are going side by side. Sorry to flip away from that action. We'll flip back to it now as uh, the cameraman once again likes to look over. As these guys are going side by side through turn one, they just about make it work. Grandad Stee sees the opportunity. He, he takes it. Uh, he's looking on the inside. No, he doesn't work. Looking on the outside. No, he's blocked off there by Melted Dazzer. He's going side by side round turn two with Melted Dazzer. They both make a stick. They're both going extremely clean. And they're still going side by side in these Cleos right now. Still going side by side. This is some phenomenal racing from these guys right now. Granite C is just edged away now. Um, but now Craig and Melted Dazzer are going side by side. Melted Dazzer is not having the best of nights. But as we just look back, Kurt, um, Sam Thumbfinger, and the Only G are all battling out. The Only G gets a lovely run there, it seems, as they go. They're going three. Oh no! As the Only G. Oh my! The Only G and. Oh, I don't know who that is. They both crashed into the pit lane and got disqualified. Who else was that? Oh, it's not going to show. That is, a, that is a steward's inquiry waiting to happen right there. That is not how we like to see drivers end their race here. Uh, the Onigi has had horrid luck in these Clios this season. As Vliegrik is chasing down Melted Dazzer. Uh, I'm not sure what to say about that. That was... Oh, no, I'm glad we caught that on stream. That was phenomenal right there. Um, really unlucky from the only GI. I don't know whose fault that is, but I'm sure we might see a steward's inquiry as Motor Morgan seems to be chasing down Cobb. This battle for the lead, we'll watch this for right now. I know there's battles going on further back, but uh, unless I see anyone too wide in the background, this will be the one that we're watching right now. Cannot believe we saw two cars get disqualified for going too fast into the pit lane. That is, oh, that is painful right there. Not really sure who to blame. I'm going to quickly go back and actually watch it on stream. Um, it was the only G and Sam Thumbfinger. So two of the faster drivers. Oh no. Taken out. As we just see here, Cobb, Motor Morgan and John Boy all fighting tooth and nail. One man I'm going to quickly flick to... Actually, no, never mind. I'm not going to flick to anything. Motor Morgan makes the move up uh, the inside of Cobb and John Boy is following him through. John Boy seems to have gotten a better pull through there and he will have the slipstream from Motor Morgan. So he's going to get through there easily. He'll have the inside for turn one. And Motor Morgan is now taking the lead. Uh, as we just look back a bit, Piopni and Grandad Steer are going side by side. Still going side by side. Um, leaving plenty of room. Grandad Steer just has the inside. Piopni. Oh, who's that going slow? Cobb. Cobb's just dropped back. What happened to Cobb? He's just, he's dropping like a bloody fly here. Oh, no. As uh, these two have taken a dominant lead, but Grandad Stee and Craig are now going at it side by side. Grandad Stee has the inside line though, and he takes it dominantly. Um, one man, I, I did want to look at him earlier, but we look at him now on Orthodubs. He is wicked in the way. He's gone from last up to ninth already. Doing an amazing job there from Unorthodubs. Valigra. Oh, it's Cobb not having a race that he wants anymore. He was doing amazing. Oh, as we just see what happened here. Oh, no. I just flicked back onto that and more crashing happened at that final turn. There will definitely be a few stewards reports here as Falgest and Unorthodox are going side by side. 
Or Northern Dubs is going to try and hang around the outside. Oh, but is it going to work? They're still going side by side. And Northern Dubs is going to try and hang around the outside. But it's not going to work. As, uh, they both go off the track there. And someone else, uh, Cray, ahead of them going off track there. Dan is still going to hold the inside line. Is Dan going to be able to make it up the inside? Oh, he just edges out in front of him. And he gets that move done. Well, very good racing there from Dan. I told you he was one to watch to climb up this time in tower. And, well, he's certainly delivering right now. McGlenn and um, Kirk going side by side and battling it out. So much battling going on right now. Let us, uh, let's go watch some foul guest action as he's chasing down uh, on Orthodox. As I quickly look in the comment section, Amazing Pie Boy saying no with a lot of O's. Um, the only G asking what happened there. I think we were three wide. Yes, you were three wide, and just I don't know what happened. I think someone cut across and just both these went off. Um, Sam Thunvik saying uh, it was very unfortunate three wide Kurt pushed my nose uh, actually I'm going to hold up on that continue reading that as Falgus is looking up the inside of Dan where Dan got him done just a lap earlier and he gets that move done lovely but Dan looks for the switch back he gets the switch back to work oh my god Dan phenomenal racing there from Dan he gets the switch back to work he's on the outside line though but Falgus will have the inside line so Dan has to concede that position that's some amazing racing there. Craig up ahead, going too wide with Vliegrick. These two having a phenomenal battle right here. Always, ooh, as Craig gets a wee bit loosey-goosey there. Not what he wants. That's going to let Vliegrick back through ahead of him. And Felgus is caught right up to the back of them. But Dan is still hunting down uh, Falgas. As you can see, the rain has definitely lightened up since the start. Uh, let's go quickly try and read this again. Um... Kurt pushed my nose as G tapped the rear, sent me into a spin, took G with me, no intent, but any of us, by any of us, I think. No, that was purely an accident as we just see Felgus there looking up the inside of Craig on turn one. Dan, is he going to try and go up the inside? Is Dan going to try to go up? No, Dan thinks better. He's just going to follow Felgas through. He knows that the inside line is the better line and he's going to get, um, don't know who that was there, Craig. Yeah, he's going to get Craig done because he followed Felgas through there. Mortar Morgan though taking a dominant lead. Oh, but Dan, Dan, what is Dan doing? Dan is following Falgas through here. It's a very wet race track right now. I thought Dan was going to crash for a second there, but Dan and Falgas dominantly battling through there. These two are neck and neck right now. As the rain seems to all but uh, I believe it's all but stopped. Uh, let's quickly check. Go on, bonnet or bumper. Yeah, so the rain has stopped for now. As we just see these two battling it out hard right now. Oh, as a uh, Vliegrick is pushing, is being pushed uh, by Craig, I think that was. Or Craig was being pushed by Vliegrick. I don't know who that was, but someone was being pushed by someone else. I'll see it back on the stream in a minute now. Uh, John Boy, though, chasing down Mortar Morgan. And these guys are on wet tires. And this track is going to uh, temporarily dry up. So I wonder, will their tires start to die? Let us quickly uh, flick back here. Falgas is chasing down on Orthodox. And Orthodox has gotten past him, it seems. I don't know when he got past him, but he got past him. He Falgas goes four milliseconds faster than he's ever gone. But he's going to be going a lot faster and not cut the corner like that. That is not what he wants to be doing as they both go quite wide off track. If we look back here, we can see more drivers battling out. Craig looking up the inside of Ligrick. But, uh, oh, wait, is he going to go for the move? His nose is right in there. But Falgas... Still on the back of Unorthodox. Unorthodox has gone from last to fifth place. This is why he's currently leading the championship here in these clears. He's won three championships over in sim play. He's going to try and win a championship here in the sim zone. I think he's definitely the favourite for the clears right now. Um, but Grandad Steve and Pyopni going side by side. There's so much battling. I can't catch it all. But these guys having an amazing race up here. Excuse me, uh, as Piopni gets past Grandad Steve there. Um, but Grandad Steve looking up the inside. Grandad Steve, is he going to try and go for the move? And he gets that move done cleanly. 
up the inside there. As you can see, this track is all but drying up. Unorthodox goes very wide. I wonder, is that because his tires are going off? There's no spray anymore. Uh, never mind. There's a tiny bit of spray coming off here on these uh, Clio's with their wet weather tires on a drying track. Make sure to keep your eye out for whenever the rain does eventually start. Grand C leading Piopni from Unorthodubs and Falgest. Uh, let's quickly flick to the main boys at the front uh, where there is a tiny bit of spray. Never mind. So it seems to be certain parts of the track are still extremely wet and other parts are dry it seems. So yeah, this part of the track seems to be quite dry. There's not much spray coming off the cars anymore at this part of the track. And then whenever they go down the hill a wee bit, you can just see, yeah, he goes off the racing line there. So the racing line is all but dry right now, and they're on wet weather tires. As you can just see John Boy there driving in the wet on purpose to try and cool down his tires. As Piopni is looking up the inside of Falgas right there. Um, on all the dubs is chasing down the back of Grandad Steve for fourth place. And oh no, he, he looks up the inside, but he doesn't go for the move. As oh, so there's six minutes and 30 seconds left in this session don't forget to hit that like button guys don't forget to subscribe and make sure you join the discord to keep up to date and even to sign up and race against some of these guys so unorthodox is racing for a podium from last to podium i don't think he's going to be able to gain up seven seconds as john boy is right on the back of motor morgan right now i just seen it got very close there as the rain is starting back now in this final five minutes as i've just caught it there Falgas looking up the inside of Unorthodubs. Unorthodubs trying to get past Grandad Steve. These guys battling it out have lost 8 seconds to the leaders now. As a... Uh... John Boy's gotten past Motor Morgan. It took me a second there to realise that. I had to look on the stream to see who was leading. But John Boy is now leading this race with 5 minutes left to go. This is phenomenal. And these guys have an 8 second lead. So unless they do something extremely stupid like crashing out these guys will be first and second just whichever order we don't know um, as we flick back here Dan goes very wide there Falgest holding off Piopni Dan drops down to sixth place he was fighting for third and now he's in sixth place yes there's only three cars ahead of him but still these guys are battling out tooth and nail Falgest uh, up the inside of Piopni there looking up the inside of Grandad Steve but he's just not going to get that to work Unorthodubs just recuperating now that it's raining again. He should be able to make more positions up. His tires will start to cool down. Oh, is Dan and Piopni are going side by side? Have they crashed? Oh, no. I don't know what happened there. Piopni just seemed to drive Dan off the track. And then as Dan tries to get back on, they just, they're just stuck door to door. And they, there was nothing they could do. Dan gets to slow down lets Piopni back through. And that's just allowed Delore to catch right up to the back of these guys. So Dan went from fighting to third to being taken out nearly. As Delore looks up the inside, but swings back to the outside, but the outside's not where he wants to be. Yeah, it just looks like Piopni gave Dan no room there. Looking on the stream. As an orthodox looks up the inside of Piopni. I think Piopni should give that position back just out of kindness, you know? Um, but these two, Granadsty and Falgas, fighting for the final podium position. Um, but Motor Morgan actually, let's go on to this, chasing down John Boy. There's so much action. Could you guys just not stick together maybe so it would be much easier to see all the action at the same time. So much great action going on. Is Motor Morgan going to look up the inside here? And he is. He's going to look up the inside. Is he going to get it done though? And he gets it done. But John Boy, is he? No, John Boy looked for the switchback, but the switchback was never going to work there. As we're on lap 18. Excuse me. Oh, I'm yawning so much. I apologize for that. Uh, as we're on lap 18 of this 20 minute race. Grandad Stee and Falgas are still battling it out here. Unorthodubs did get past Piopni. And Piopni's dropped back down behind Delore. As we can see there on the timing tower. But Grandad Stee fighting for that position back from Falgas. This seems to be the best battle on track right now. 
Uh, we'll quickly flick back to this. Pyopni chasing down Delore. Uh, no, nothing there. Yeah, so this is among one of the closest battles going on right now between these two. Um, I say that, Mother, actually, Mother Morgan's gotten back past... Oh, sorry, no, he already got back past him. John Boy, though, fighting back. It's hard to keep track of all this action. There's so much. Oh, apologies for that. Accidentally hit the PlayStation button. But yes, uh, I can't actually see my timing tower right now. John Boy chasing down Mortimer Morgan for that win. Um, have either one of them gotten a, win gotten a win yet? Let's quickly check the standings. Uh, we'll flick back to here. Um, no one seems to be really close to anyone else apart from these guys. Standings, let's look at Cleo Cup. Mortimer Morgan. Oh, John Boy looking up the inside there or around the outside even. Does he get it done? No, he doesn't. John boy, John boy, John boy, John boy, John boy. I look at the right thing. So, okay, so Sam Dumfinger had two wins in the first two races at Monza Short and a second place in Monza Short. He did not show up to the Red Bull ring. Um, and then John boy, where's John boy at? Um... John. Oh, this is John Boy's debut, it seems. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Um, he got a seventh in race one at Monza Short. He got a seventh in race two at Monza Short. And he got a tenth in race two or race three at Monza Short. Um, and he did not show up to the Red Bull ring. So this will be John Boy's first ever podium here in these Clios. Motor Morgan has got three podiums. Every race that Motor Morgan's been in, he's been on the top two steps. And currently, he's got the top step in hand right now, as this might be the final lap. Dan, though, chasing Dan, Grandad's D. I'm not sure he's going to get anything done. Um, yeah, so this is the final lap that these guys are on. John Boy looking up the inside, but no, that's just never going to work right there. Um, Unorthodox going side by side with Grandad C. Grandad C takes the lead, though. Not going to work for Dan. Dan's going to try the switch back. And he gets the switch back to... Oh, no. He's touched Grandad's D. But that's your race there now. Uh, Mother Morgan first. John Boy second. Falgas to come home third. Grandad's D. Grandad's D and Unorthodox are going side by side. Who's going to make it to the line first? Grandad's D just about makes it, it seems. That was neck and neck right there. Delore in sixth. Piopni seventh. Kerr eighth. Melted Dazer ninth. McGlenn tenth. Cobb eleventh. Vliegrick, 12th, Craig going to come across the line and finish 13th and Windsor is coming around the final corner now but Grandad Stee and Unorthodox going side by side across the line there that is just how close these Cleos are the amount of times that's happened in these Cleos is just phenomenal as Windsor went from first place and just got him for him he got taken out well he took himself out it looked like but he's going to come across the line to round off the grid right now and he just about makes it with one second left to go so this is your um, thing. Can't brain fart right now. Uh, Mortem Morgan in first place. John Boy in second. Falgus in third. So that is your podium. Uh, Granad T is in fourth place. Unorthodox makes his way up to fifth place from last place. Delore sixth. Piopni seventh. Kerr in eighth place. Melted Dazzler ninth. McGlenn in tenth. Cobb in eleventh. Vliegrick in twelfth. Craig and Windsor in 13th and 14th and the only G and Sam Thumbfinger having that horrific pit lane crash on lap 3 where they both got disqualified I think there might be a steward support there but you never know make sure to come back in about 5 or 10 minutes for the next race here at Brands Hatch Indy for the Simzone uh, Sound X Energy Clio Cup round 3 
Right, we're live. Welcome back everyone to uh, race two of round three here in the Brands Hatch Indy. Uh, it's dry now and it seems to be night time so all the lights are on. And uh, a shock thing, Dan is in first, the only G is in third. So these two are very fast drivers. Um, I keep having brain farts, my bad. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Dan has been put on pole. I said only G was going to start last off air to him. Um, Sam Thumbfinger starting in 15th place. Where's Motor Morgan? He's in 12th. And John Boy is in 11th. So this will be the starting grid um, here in this random grid order. But in the practice session off air, um, between 1st to 5th, there was 54 milliseconds. That is extremely close. A blink takes longer than that. I'm actually going to quickly Google how long a blink takes. Also, I just seen a message there from our lovely sponsor, Sound X Energy, uh, saying, hey, hey. <laughs> Does a blink take. So, I'm just Googling this. Yeah, a blink takes 100 milliseconds. These guys were within half a blink that will now be the measurement i'm using <laughs> from first down to fifth in the practice session half a blink but yeah so they're just getting their setups ready seem to be ready to go now it's one two three red lights and a green and we are away and Dan seems to have gotten a decent start there. He keeps the lead. Windsor is in second place. Um, he went from first last last race. The only G is looking around the outside of him. Is he going to get it to work though? As they're going three wide behind them. The only G gets that to work as Veligrick, Melted Dazzler and Grandad Steve are going four wide. They're all swamping Windsor right now. They're going inside, outside, all around him. Veligrick makes a pass and Melted Dazzler makes a pass and Cobb is next to chase him down now. These guys are going two by two by two by two by two. They're like a plank now from home. De oh no! As Cobb just gets spun there. And is that Windsor? Oh no, bloody messages. I believe that's a, uh, I don't know who that was, the yellow car. Um. Um, yeah, that was Windsor there getting pushed about again as these boys are now seem to be going single file as uh, is someone into the pit lane? Who's into the pits? Grandad Steve. He's got enough fuel. Why is he coming to the pit lane? Um, but Cobb and Delore are going side by side. Not anymore. Ooh! As Windsor goes very wide there. Oh, and he comes back on the track and he takes out two cars. That was Pjopni and I don't know who else that was. As ah, Windsor's just sitting there in the middle of the track right now. Oh no, that was a uh, that was very unsafe free entry right there from Windsor. As there's just so much action going on track once again. I never know where to be looking right now. Um, as oh, the Orthodox has just dropped back. Don't know what happened there to him. He was in the lead comfortably, and now he's down into fourth place. I don't know what's happened there. The only G has taken a one second lead away from uh, Dan now. But Kurt Cobb and Murder Morgan are going uh, at it right now. Let's go on board here with Murder Morgan. Oh, as Kurt just goes on two wheels for a second there. Motor Morgan going very wide out there. Not what he wants to be doing too oftenly. As Piopney is missing a light after being taken out by Windsor on that really unsafe re entry. Kurt chasing down the back of Cobb. He's going to look around the outside. See, he's not going to be alongside though. 
I could really use a silent extra energy for my throat right now. That's, the only G has dropped down and Vliegrek is now taking the lead. Oh my, what is happening with these guys? The lead just seems to drop off. Let's watch this battle for the lead now as the only G chases down Vliegrek and Melted Dazzler chases down the only G and Unorthodubs is chasing down the lot of them. Um, after he was in the lead. Uh, the only G has just been done by Melted Dazzler. Don't know, don't know what happened there. He seemed to have had a slowdown. As Valigrek now takes the lead. So that is three race leaders in four laps. That just shows you how close these Cleos are as Delore is chasing down the back of Unorthodubs right now. Let's go on to bumper cam. As we can once again just see the back of that number 16 Cleo there driven by uh, Dan also known as Unorthodubs. Excuse me. But yeah, Delore just fighting tooth and nail to try and get ahead of Dan, the championship leader at the moment. He finished fifth last race. He's currently in fourth. He went from first to fourth. So not at all a race that Dan wants. The only G is chasing down the back of Melted Dazzler for the lead. So Valigrek has fallen off. That is four new leaders in five laps. So it just seems the leaders seem to be struggling under pressure. The only G is looking around the outside. Is he going to make it work around the outside? He's still sticking it there. He's still sticking it there. He kept it on track. They both kept it very clean through turn one. The only G is still trying to hang around the outside. Melted Dazzard still has the inside. Um, but Melted Dazzard, he just he turns off his light. He flashes his lights out. I wonder was he just conceding that on purpose? Um, but he, the only G gets passed because he did have the inside line. But Melted Dazzler will have the inside line for the next corner. But no, the only G cuts him off there. Uh, well, not cuts him off, but covers him off more so. Um, as we just flick back, uh, Unorthodox is still defending from Delore and chasing down Vliegrek at the same time. Uh, Delore is going to have a lovely draft um, off Unorthodox, but Unorthodox is also going to have a draft off Vliegrek. Uh, Delore isn't really utilizing that draft as well as he probably could be. Apologize for my yawning. Also, I just seen that message now from Jan saying, "Great commentary, Killian. Thank you very much, Jan. Means a lot, man." And also, publicly, I'm just going to congratulate Jan. He got second place in an Indy 500 event. Um, so that is amazing job there from Jan. As that is the pit lane on the right where we saw two drivers get taken off into last race. I think I need a power nap. That's what I need because I am extremely tired. As Vliegrek was very wide there. He, he rejoins safely though and he doesn't take out Dan or Delore. But they're going side by side. Delore and Vliegrek are. Dan is now up into third place. Last time he was up in third place last race, he dropped back down to fifth place out of nowhere. Uh, Melted Dazzler is losing uh, quite a bit of time to uh, the only G, the man who has had the worst luck in this Clio race. In the first ever race here in the Sim Zone in the Clio Cup um, at Monza Short, the only G got taken out into turn one in a horrific crash. Race two, um, I think he had a decent race. I'm going to quickly check now yeah race 2 he had an even worse race where he finished 13 uh, but then the third race he did go win it at the Red Bull ring um, at the first race in the Red Bull wing he got taken out uh, or sorry no he drove off into a wall um, then he uh, accidentally quit and then he finished where did he finish in third race um, and then he got a third place in the third race so the first two races for the only G always seem to be extremely unlucky for him hopefully that's a trend that he stops for his own sake as they seem to be coming up to the back marker of Windsor now hopefully Windsor gets out of the way in time and he doesn't hold these boys up 
But yeah, that's some lovely uh, getting out of the way maneuvering there from Windsor. Good job on you, Windsor. Big stretch there. Sam Thumbfinger wanting to make up for the fact that he uh, he got taken out and got forced into a disqualification last race. Not his fault at all. Um, right here where he's passing now, he got taken out and spun into the pit lane and he went too fast into the pit lane and he got a penalty. Um, I wonder is that actually what happened to Grandad Steve? Maybe uh, he got spun into the pit lane. Uh, but Melted Dazzer. First penalty of the night, and it's a two second time penalty. So, if they were to finish now, he would drop down to fourth place, and Unorthodox will get a second place. I really need to stop yawning. Apologies. <laughs> Had a bad night's sleep last night and I was awake early, so I'm going to use that as my excuse. As John Boy's chasing down the back of Falgas, chasing down Cobb. And that is Falgas looking up the inside, it, it looked like, of Cobb, but it just wasn't going to work there. He had to back out, and thankfully he did. He didn't take anyone out. John Boy looking up the inside of uh, Falgas. Uh, and he gets the move done. Lovely move there from John Boy. Excuse me, now Grandad Steve getting a two second time penalty. So that's two two second time penalties. On Orthodubs up the inside of. Uh, that must have been a back marker, it seems. No, that is Melted Dazzer. So Melted Dazzer is fighting for position right now. They're going side by side through turn one. But Dan makes it stick through there. Melted Dazzer does still have that two second time penalty. So I think it's best that he just lets them two go and just stick onto the back of them and don't lose as much time. Um. So yeah, these guys battling out. Dan now has to chase down the Undergy who's got a two and a half second lead to them. Alice penalties just seem to be getting dished out more and more. Let's quickly take another look at the pen. Actually, there seems to be a battle going on right here. Uh, is anyone going to look up the inside? No, it doesn't seem like it. Um, but Melted Dals are two seconds. Lee Greg has one second. Uh, McGlenn has one second. And Gwendolyn Steele has two seconds. But as we look here, I don't know who's overtaking who. Fal gets up the inside of someone. John Boy getting hung out to dry on the outside. But he will have the inside for the next race or uh, for the next corner. And he makes it work lovely there. Cobb still fighting back and chasing down Falgas. They're going side by side in through the last few corners here. As we're into the final eight minutes. Some amazing work from these guys right now. Sorry for being a bit quiet, guys. I am really tired. Try my best, though, to keep up the standards here at the Sim Zone. And if you like what you see, make sure you do hit that like button. Delora is up to third place, it seems. Uh, still chasing down on Orthodox. Not being able to break away because of that really strong draft. Just being able to keep any driver in, uh, in range. And the only G has now gotten a three... 
Oh, nearly a three and a half second lead on these guys, so he's really head and shoulders above everyone else right now. Delore chasing down unorthodubs. But back here we can see uh, Cobb, John Boy, Falgas and Kerr all battling it out right now. As our cameraman completely misses all of the action. They're going two by two through that uh, turn two right there. I don't know who that is. Kurt comes off victorious out of all of them. John Boy up to ninth. Cobb in tenth. And Falgas in eleventh place. Still going side by side though. Are they back there? Cobb making sure he leaves plenty of room for Falgas. Last thing he needs is a post-race penalty. Ooh, as, uh, I don't know who that is, I think that's Cobb, he just had a big slowdown there, and John Boy and Fel gets to up to, they're going side by side, too wide, as our cameraman once again misses it, John Boy gets hung out to dry, John Boy looks up the inside of Fel gets, but, I don't know, he's just not there to make the move, Cobb, very close to running into the back of, uh, John Boy there, looks around the outside, and he's gonna get that move done, swiftly. Excuse me, Melted Daz are chasing down the uh, Unorthodubs, who's chasing down the Lore. The Oni G has over a three and a half second gap lead now, so the Oni G. Um, the Oni G finally getting another podium, it seems like, maybe even the win. I've probably just cursed him. He's got to hold out for five more minutes, so that will be at least five more laps, uh, depending on uh, where he is now. Yeah, that'll be at least five more laps, I think. Uh, but this is the thing that we want to be watching now, Melted Dazzler and Unorthodubs. We'll quickly, we'll ride on board here on uh, Unorthodubs bumper or roof cam right now. As he's chasing down Melted Dazzler. We'll see what the championship leader sees. Goes very sideways through that corner, but that's how he takes the corner to go fast. And you can just visually see that he's catching up to Melted Dazzler going through that corner the way that he does. Dazzler just being able to haul him off and Delory trying his best to make a wee gap out of these guys. Oh, as we just go back and Cobb and Kurt are going side by side and John Boy's going side by side. And John Boy hits the back of um, Kurt and half spins himself. John Boy has been in the absolute wars just by looking at his car. You can just see how many bangs and bruises he ha he's had. He's flashing his lights. He's not happy with that. He thinks that Kurt has cut him off. Melted Daz are trying to dethrone the championship leader from his podium. And he gets it done with ease right there. So Dan must have had a slowdown there. No way Dan just gave up all that time. And it seems if Ligrek was looking for a move there. As they're coming into the final three minutes of this race right now. Ligrek chasing down an orthodubs and orthodubs go they may not get another podium here he's only got a few more laps to get this all done and dusted Ooh, Ligrek going very sideways through there uh, I think Modern Morgan might have just tapped him in the rear the slightest Just a reminder guys, uh, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button 
to keep up to date with all of the best racing in sim racing in my opinion. These guys are extremely close. We have uh, we have Project Car Leagues as you can see right now we've got excuse me we've got Clio's GT3's and excuse me Jesus um, we've got Clio's GT3's and uh, touring cars and project cars and we also have some leagues in ACC uh, and in the future we will eventually have a F1 league so if you like the sound of any of that make sure you join the discord make sure you sign up for all that shebang as uh, Melted Dazzler has a time penalty of 2 seconds so um oh wait that's not him that's Sam Thumbfinger he does have a time penalty of 2 seconds though, so an orthodox just needs to stay within 2 seconds of him but Vliegrek who also has a time penalty is fighting Dan and trying to get that position as it looks like Vliegrek looks up the inside but He's not going to be alongside enough as they're into the second last lap now, uh, I think. As the only G gains it now, it's now up to a five second lead from the only G. And Mortimer Morgan has done an amazing drive to make his way back up into fifth place. As the only G comes across the line to start his last uh, lap here at Brands Hatch Indy. As the only G seems to be coming up to a back marker there. Uh, it is the back marker of Windsor once again and one thing about this race that's different to the last race is two drivers didn't go off into the pit lane this time excuse me as the only G comes across the line uh, or comes across the final corner to come across the line to take a dominant lead here in um, Brand Hatch Indy he goes wiggly across the line there. Deloria to come across second. Melted Dazzler in third. Uh, Unorthodox one better than his position last time. Actually, no, he's gone onto the podium. Dan into third place. Mortal Morgan in fourth. Melted Dazzler in fifth. Leagueric sixth. Sam Thumbfinger to come across the line in sixth. But no, Fal gets to take seventh. Uh, Sam Thumbfinger dropped down to eighth. Cobb in 9th, John Boy 10th, Kurt is going to come across the line in 11th place, Grandad C in 12th, Piopni is behind him in 13th. And I didn't get to see all of that. So yes, this will be your uh, your standings for this race, the random grid race. It is the only G and Delore and Unorthodox to be your top 3, Morton Morgan, Melted Dazzler, Vliegrek, Falga, Sam Thumbfinger, Cobb, John Boy, Kurt, Grandad Steve, Craig, McGlenn, Piopney, and Windsor. So that is your um, standings there. Uh, Piopney getting a five second time penalty. So he's currently leading the time penalties uh, leaderboard as well. But make sure to come back in about five or ten minutes for the final race, which will have a pit window. Um, yep. Take me, I don't know where you take me. I just follow your trail, and I'm losing your mind, and I'm losing your head. Let me escape from this love, cause I'm a prisoner. I just want to look my way, and never back to you.
falling apart when you're so far you're the only thing that i can't lose i can't lose you feel in the cracks didn't know i had melt in my heart from the broken glass now we never part of me it's you I'm back. Right here. Key you in now. 
veloce. Welcome back everyone to round three, race three, the final race uh, of tonight. There is a pit window. I'm going to quickly check when the pit window is. I believe it's been posted. Um, it is between lap uh, 11 and 21. They will have to make a mandatory pit stop. Um, so that throws a new spanner into the works here. But John Boy, this man here, currently topping the timings of this qualifying session. This is a qualifying session. Um, five minutes have passed. I was just away doing something. Um, and between him and the only G is 34 milliseconds. Then Delore further back at 74 milliseconds. In fact, first all the way down to 15th is covered by one second. Now that is extremely close qualifying. There's oh, John Boy just going on two wheels there for a second. I'm not sure how many laps this race is, but remember, between lap 11 and 21, there will be a mandatory pit stop. as Cobb is down in 17th. Sam Dunfinger not having the best of qualifying. He's in 5th place. I know he can definitely go faster um, and get up higher. More to Morgan though in 4th place. Or oh, Arthur Dubs struggling down in 8th place. I wonder will he be able to go any faster on this lap that he is currently on. And the answer to that is he won't. Ooh by 3 milliseconds. That's all that was in it, and now he's being dropped down to ninth place. Dan is definitely by far the favourite to win the championship at the moment. As he's just letting that car of Windsor, I think that is, through. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, and no, that's definitely not one, sir. Uh, I don't know who that was then. But an orthodox strategically letting that car through so he can get a lovely draft off of them. Ooh, and whoever it is, not having a good run a form right there going off onto the gravel trap Dan loses that slipstream now but he is 81 milliseconds up and that will put him up to 10th place so he is he's like struggling a lot right now it seems he's two and a half tenths up that'll put him about 6th or 5th place at the moment. Let's see if we can find even more time. John Boy sets an even faster time. So, oh my days. This is extremely close qualifying here from these boys right now. As Dan goes up into 5th place. So from 1st. Down. Oh, as the only G goes even faster than these guys now. From 1st to 15th. Still covered by only 1 second. Orthodox just sitting by the side of the track, not sure what he's waiting for. Just all these cars to go by, it must be.
Sam Thumbfinger going even faster. And that is your qualifying over, so... Ooh, I was about to say, unless the only G has something else up his sleeve, he's not going to be able to get it. John Boy is the last man that's going to be able to dethrone Sam Thumbfinger, but... Uh, he doesn't have a slipstream and he's two milliseconds down. So unless he can grab over a tenth out of that last corner, I think this will be how it is. As we just see a car having a wee spaz attack there. We'll just ignore that for now. Nope, he does not make up any time. Who is that spazzing? Let's quickly check. See if we can find them. Call them out. Epileptic warning. It is Windsor having a lovely spaz attack here right now. I will quickly flick away from that. Um, who are we waiting on? Oh, there we go. And that's Windsor sitting there. Nothing I can do about this. Um, so this is your qualifying order for the final race of tonight. It is Sam Thumbfinger, followed by the only G, John Boy and Delore. Falgest, Unorthodubs. I'll continue now. Uh, Falgus, Unorthodubs, Mortar Morgan, Grandad C, Melted Dazzler, Cobb, Pyopney, Kurtz, Vliegrek, Craig, McGlenn, and Windsor to round off the grid in last place. And I love that the camera focuses in on Windsor, but none of the other cars. So it's all cars in view, then Windsor. So Windsor, here is your minute of fame right now as we just zoom away from your car. So Windsor can see all the cars in front of him. McGlenn, Vliegrick, Kurtz. Sorry, I missed Craig. Craig, Vliegrick, Kurtz, Piopney, Cobb, Elta Dazer, Grandad Steve, Mortar Morgan, Fal Unorthodox, Falgas, Dore, John Boy, The Only G, and Sam Thumbfinger just edging his way in to get that pole position. It is a 42 race, 42 lap race, so that'll be around about 40 minutes or so. It's going to be a decent long race. Um, and the pit window will be between lap 11 and 21. So a 10 lap pit window that they must meet the requirements of making a mandatory pit stop between those laps. If they pit before it, they'll need to come in again. And if they don't pit, they will be punished. If they pit after tw lap 21, they will be punished, I believe. And it is one, two, three red lights. Four lights out, and away we go. Sam Thumbfinger keeps the lead. The only G and John Boy battling it out right now. As John Boy is looking around the outside of the only G. The only G is going to have the inside line, but no, John Boy just gets to the corner before him. Uh, they all seem to be going through fine right now. Winds are running off the grid back in last place. John Boy chasing down the back of uh, the back of Sam Thumbfinger right now. He's all over the back of him. John Boy was on to get a lovely win. Oh, as we just see some colliding back there. John Boy was on his way to get a win in the first race, but he was blocked off by Mother Morgan. Sam Thumbfinger and the only G last two these last time these two were side by side on this part of the track two of the both of them got disqualified for going into the pit too fast um, but these three having a lovely battle at the moment that is lap one of 42 done as this is the battle we want to be watching right now as they're going too wide with the only G in close hot pursuit is the only G going to try and make it three wide Sam just blocking off the only G. The only G is going to go up the inside and try and make it three wide, but no, he doesn't actually. Uh, John Boy still holding it around the outside. Sam Thumbfinger holding it up the inside, hanging him out to dry. Uh, John Boy taking the lead of this race temporarily. Sam Thumbfinger trying to hang it around the outside. Is it going to work? No, it's not going to work. He's now going side by side with the one, the only G. Um, John Boy still in the lead of this race now. Uh, Sam Thumbfinger has been relegated to now fight the only G, but the only G has dropped back a wee bit. Let's drop back and watch the race back here. Falgas and Grandad Steve touching. Melted Dazzler going up around the outside of Grandad Steve. Cobb now chasing down Grandad Steve. He's going to follow Melted Dazzler through there. 
Let's go back up to the race up here where uh, Mortar, Mor I'm sorry, no, Sam Thumbfinger and the Oni G are going side by side. Uh, the Oni G goes wide. Oh, and he uh, the Oni G, I called it. I told him off air that he was going to have a horrific race. And well, that is just the start of a bad race. Now he's racing Dan on Orthodox. These two are extremely clean racers. If you watched Monza Shore, the first ever round of these Clio Cups, excuse me, you would know that these two went lap by lap for about five laps side by side. Um, but the only G just touching the gravel there, nearly losing his car. He just about saves a lovely save there. But John Boy now has the lead of this race, followed by San Thumbfinger. Moda Morgan in third place in hot pursuit right now. Unorthodubs in fourth place. D Delore just seems to be dropping back. The, uh, he must have a slowdown or something. The only G back up into fifth place. He wants to get back up to take that lead. But San Thumbfinger looking around the outside of John Boy. Um, there's nowhere for him to go around the outside. It's just not going to work. He's going to end up like the only G. And is that the only G on the gravel again? That is the only G touching the gravel once again. He's looking up around the outside of Unorthodubs. Um, but it's not going to work right then and there. This is the battle we want to be watching right now. I know there's more battles going on, guys, but this is the one we want to be watching. Ah, Sam Thumbfinger is literally right up John Boy's gearbox right now. As they come around the final corner. Sam Thumbfinger seems to have gotten a better exit there. He will have the draft as well, so that will be amazing. John Boy covering off the inside, but no, he lets uh, Sam Thumbfinger up the inside, which that's probably the worst thing that he could have done because now Sam Thumbfinger has the inside for this la uh, for the first corner and he takes it, but he touches the graf grass and John Boy makes the switch back work. Lovely work there from uh, John Boy to get that switch back done on John on Sam Thumbfinger. Mother Morgan up in third place as uh, Falgest goes very wide there. Uh, drops down to 6th place, he was in 4th and now he's dropped down to 6th and Orthodox up, up into 4th place now chasing down these guys, these guys in a lovely train here Sam Thumbfinger looking up the inside, oh I, he definitely had a slow down there no way he's uh, just lost all his position, they're going 3 wide in parts and Orthodox up into 2nd place chasing down Morton Morgan so I'm not sure what happened to uh, Sam Boy and John John Boy and Sam Thumbfinger, I really just got their names mixed up uh, as they're going to go three wide with the only G in a, in a Sam and John sandwich. But I know Sam doesn't make it three wide. Um, Order Morgan taking... Oh, is it the only G onto the gravel again? That is the third time we've seen the only G onto the gravel and he drops back down into sixth place. The only G needs to keep it out of the gravel and he's hung around the outside to go around the outside of them boys. Uh, Order Dubs looking for his first win of tonight. Some amazing battling right now as they're all sticking together. As uh, the only G and Falgest are going side by side right now through the final few corners. But uh, Falgest will have a lovely draft of Sam Thumbfinger. But no, Sam Thumbfinger, uh, Sam, Sam Thumbfinger ends up giving the draft a wee bit to G there. So they're still going even Stevens. The only G takes it up the inside. Lovely move there. Um, but G O nearly very much going onto the grass there. Delore chasing down Falgas, looking up around the outside. Is he going to get it to work? No. Is he going to try to switch back? No, he's not. He's just going to keep it there. Um, the only G back up into fourth place. He's overtaking Sam on the inside. Sam gets pushed out wide a wee bit. No, he doesn't. Uh, Sam and Falgas are now going side by side. The only G is going to be wanting to get back up there. He knows he can get the win. Um, he just needs to keep his nose clean and stop going onto that gravel. John Boy chasing down uh, Dan, also known as Unorthodox. This battle for the lead is extremely close. Let's see if the Oni G can make it through uh, turn one without going off the track. And the answer is... No, he cannot. That is the Oni G off onto the gravel once again. As John Boy, Unorthodox, and Morda Morgan are all battling it out right now. John Boy temporarily had the lead from Unorthodox, but it was too little, too late. No way he was going to be able to hang around the outside of the Oni G. Or, sorry, no, not the Oni G, of Dan. I'm getting names mixed up here as we can just see the bumper of Dan. As John Boy is pushing him through these corners, and Dan is pushing Morda Morgan through these corners. Let's look here.
Southampton finger a wee bit away from these guys. This is a lovely battle for first place as uh, Dan looked up the inside, but it just wasn't going to work there. Let's see if the Oni G can make it through this corner without touching the gravel. Ooh, very close there from the Oni G to not uh, touch the gravel. Let's quickly look what time penalty Delore has. He has a one the second time penalty, and in this close, close pack, that is going to drop him. If he was in first place, oh, never mind, that actually only dropped him down one position. But if he was in second place, it would drop him all the way down to sixth place, possibly. Um, Sam Thumbfinger has gotten past John Boy, and now they're chasing down on Orthodubs. And Orthodubs seem to be going very slow through that corner. Motor Morgan is now taking a one and a half second lead on Orthodubs, holding up John Boy there. John Boy probably wishing that he didn't do that. John Boy trying to make a three wide. He's trying to squeeze into that tiny wee gap there. Does he make it work? No. Uh, uh, Sam Thumbfinger holding it around the ice. Oh, who's that sliding? Who's that sliding? Uh, that is Delore. Had a lovely save there. Absolutely lovely save there from Delore. Um, as the only G has been looked around the outside by Falgas. I'm just going to quickly look back that on stream because that was an amazing save there. Truly amazing save there by Delore. I think he just lost his rear by himself. Uh, Sam, oh, Sam has nearly spun and flipped as they're going three wide through the final corner is Sam, Falgas and John Boy. Uh, Falgas seems to be, oh, no, they're all just going side by side at the moment. Falgas takes the lead though. Sam nearly very closely. Uh, it just seems like he went off track and then came back on and hit the back of Dan there. Um, but yeah, uh, so that is uh, a... Falgas going wide this time, not the only G. The only G has made his way up into third place behind Unorthodox. He's made his way back up into second place. I think Morton Morgan has just clocked out. And the pit window is now open on this lap that they have started on. Um, so we might see one or two cars come in. But if I was them, I would not come in because just the draft is so powerful. If they come in and box, they're going to lose so much time without the draft. The only G looking up at the inside of Dan. D D Ooh, Dan just covers him off a wee bit there. Um, the only G probably lost a little bit of time as we see some people coming into the pits. Sam Thumbfinger, Falgas, uh, and Melted Dazzer coming in to make their pit stop. Grandad Stee is also coming in to make his pit stop. So that is four drivers coming into the pits right now. Let's quickly see... Um, as uh, John Boy is looking up the inside of the only G. It's not going to work though. So there's uh, quite a few drivers. There's a race in the pit lane right now. Don't know what's happened here. I think there was some pit lane confusion right there. Um... Well, as we go back on to John Boy here, uh, he is going to be chasing down Dan. So Dan and John Boy come in. The only G is now going to be out by himself. It looked like Dan was going to try and um, do a duke and go back out. But no, it's not going to work there. Uh, oh, as uh, it looked like John Boy didn't know where his bloody pit stop was. So Dan uh, waiting to go and he's off now. Is John Boy going to be able to uh, jump him in the pits? Yes, he is. John Boy jumps on Orthodubs in the pit lane. Amazing work there from John Boy to get his pit crew just to do everything right. Amazing work. So, the only G is going to come in and box this lap, I think. Uh, he doesn't want to be hung out to dry because those guys will be pushing each other with the draft. And, no, he doesn't come in this lap. Piopni in this lap. Cobb has also come in to make his mandatory pit stop. McGlenn chasing Craig. Uh, but Craig has come in to make his mandatory pit stop. Unorthodox has lost a wee bit of time to John Boy um, through those pit stops. Melted Dazzler is chasing down uh, Unorthodox though. The only G in free air. I wonder does he think the free air is more powerful than being in the draft at the moment.
just remember guys if you do like what you see make sure to hit that like button as uh, unorthodubs is catching up to the back of John boy now uh, is G coming into box no he's not I wonder are these two gonna wait until the very last lap um, of the pit window to make their mandatory pit stop Ligrick in to make his mandatory pit stop so I think the only two not to make their mandatory pit stop so far is the only G and Motor Morgan so let's see if the undercut or the overcut was the one to work Dan trying his best to catch up Pjopni. Oh, as a. There seems to be a retirement. Cobb has left the session. Not sure what's happened there with Cobb, but Cobb has left the session. The only G has come in to make his mandatory pit stop. Where is he going to come out? Morton Morgan is still taking the dominant lead over everyone. The only G is now leaving. Um, but, ooh, I wonder. Is it going to work? Let's ride on board with the only G here. The suspense, the suspense, the suspense. And he comes out. And he's going to be jumped. John Boy is going to go around the outside of him and jump him. But no, these two are still going at it. Oh, very close racing. They're still going side by side as Dan has a lovely view here. As Motor Morgan has come in to make his mandatory pit stop. But he gets a penalty. He gets a penalty. He gets a 10 second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane I assume oh no as uh, he's now leaving his pit box and he is out he will take the lead but he will have a 10 second time penalty and these guys will know that he has a 10 second time penalty because it will show up that he has a 10 second time penalty. So if, if the race was to finish now, Morton Morgan would be dropped all the way back to 9th place. That is painful, painful, painful stuff. Oh, no. It's not how you want to lose your race. So, unorthodox, the only G and John Boy are now fighting for the lead. Morton Morgan is just trying to get away from them and gain as much time on everyone as possible but if he gets swallowed up by these guys he's going to lose a lot of time to everyone as I nearly dropped my phone there which was sitting on my lap I'm going to put it on my laptop um, but yes they are catching up to him he's probably really demoralised after having that huge mistake and now I'm going to quickly uh, do some maths here um, I'm going to use uh, unorthodox just going to keep sitting on board with him as he's a lovely view of this battle going on up ahead right now uh, instead of using the silly cameramen in this game um, I'm just looking for my notepad there we go right, then I'm gonna take note of how much fuel Dan has coming across the line to start this lap and how much he has at the end of this lap Just so I can do some mathematics to see how much fuel he has. And he will have 27.8. Let's see what he has whenever he finishes this lap. I think it's a leisure lap, but you know, you never know. As Sam is pushing Kurt through here. And lovely move there done by uh, Sam to make that position up. Yeah. He made that position up. So they use about 0 0.7 litres a lap. 
So I'll round that up to about one. It's 20 laps to go, so yeah, Dan definitely has enough fuel. The, the only G looking up the inside there of John Boy. Let's go and look at track side now. Uh, John Boy. Ooh, they're still going side by side. John Boy has the inside line right now, and yes, lovely move there by John Boy to hold that position. Ooh, I wonder, uh, Sam Thumbfinger is going to be cutting it very close with his fuel uh, rations. So he's going to be one to watch out later in the race. But currently it is Mortar Morgan being swallowed up by these guys. And if they finish, he's still going to be dropped all the way down to ninth place which is going to be absolutely gushing for him Windsor in to make his mandatory pit stop so he's left it as late as possible but sadly he's already in last place amazing drive from him though he's still going to keep driving and get those uh, final few points that he can As, uh, the track gets very dark. Oh, what's happening here? Is this fog? This must be fog because the track has just all of a sudden gotten very dark out of nowhere. As uh, That's the only G nearly going off into the gravel once again. As Unorthodubs is overtaking the only G up the inside now. Excuse me, that fog came in thick and fast. Ooh, they are getting very close. Tasty, tasty stuff. Oh, but John Boy's got a slowdown, so Dan is now in the net lead. You know, Morgan Morgan, you're an amazing driver, but you're not even in the equation right now. You need to gain 10 seconds on these guys. John Boy's dropped all the way down to third place. I will be referring to them as their net leads right now uh, so unorthodox is in the net lead right now with unorthodox in net p2 so these guys are the ones to watch Morgan morgan is sadly he has a 10 second time penalty which is gushing for him because he was doing amazing Morgan morgan 100 percent deserves the win of this race but just going too fast into the pit lane he just screwed himself over and got a 10 second time penalty at least he did not DQ himself but Dan as we've just it's a black screen now with this fog we can just about see his two headlights it's like a UFO just coming through the blackness the black abyss um, as John Boy is now chasing down the only G uh, Dan is gonna want to put himself ahead of Motor Morgan and use Motor Morgan as a buffer um, and maybe even hey maybe he wants to hold up Motor Morgan a wee bit um, but Motor Morgan he's still making up time to ninth place so at worst I think Motor Morgan might finish seventh place at worst he's gonna finish ninth so that is some painful painful news from Motor Morgan Unorthodox in the lead though well, Motor Morgan in the lead on track uh, Unorthodox in the lead though as it just fades back into blackness with this fog we literally cannot see a thing with this blackness. We get to see the cars for a second. Yep, we get to see the cars. And then, oh, no, now we don't get to see the cars. Um, but John weighs all over the back of the only G. Just such thick fog has rolled in here. Um, on the Brands Hatch circuit here in the UK at round three, race three of the Silent X Energy sponsored Clio Cup. Unorthodox well, is going to take an absolutely dominant lead in the championship after this race if he finishes in first place.
the Oni G looking up the inside of Unorthodox though. So these guys are still fighting for the lead. These three. This is the battle for the lead. As the Oni G. Oh, the Oni G nearly loses rear end there. No, every now and then I need to check to see if I'm actually muted because I just get anxiety that I've accidentally muted myself and forgotten to unmute. And this entire time I've been talking to myself, but thankfully, no, I did not do that. I remember I once did that on a stream of my own when I was streaming, and I just felt like a very silly boy um, for doing such a thing. But the only G, John Boy, and Dan are all fighting for the win right now. Looking around the outside of Unorthodubs. Unorthodubs able to hold him off again. Uh, the only G looking up the inside, looking up the outside. Is he going to try and go around the outside? No, it's not going to work because he, he bumps the back of Dan. And John Boy still chasing these boys down. So this is your current podium. It's going to be a 1 2 3. Um, Unorthodubs, the only G, and John Boy. But whether or not it stays that way is yet to be decided as there is 27 out of 42 laps i'm not sure how much that is i'm going to quickly get my calculator up as i nearly dropped my controller there as john boy looks around the outside of the only g um 20 excuse me eight now take away 42 there is 14 laps left for these guys to decide the podium positions and there's that much time left for Morton Morgan to continue to pull out a gap. He did temporarily have a 10 second lead to Vliegrek, but he lost half a second somehow, or Vliegrek actually gained half a second on him. This is not a season you want to miss. Make sure to tune in next Tuesday. Hopefully we'll be uh, joined by Nikki. Uh, if he's feeling up for it. He was in a bike accident. Um, thankfully, he's okay, though. Uh, all, all's good with him. So that's good to know, at least. But hopefully we can have him next week. As the only G is looking around the outside of Dan. Dan defends him once again. The only G, oh, just tucks back in behind him. He's looking around the outside once again of Dan in that number 16 car versus the monster livery car, Hamilton's bro Lewis Hamilton's brother's car, I believe that is, as the only G will have the inside line, and he's going to take the lead from Dan right now as uh, Dan just pushes him through that corner. Sam Thumbfinger is going to be chasing him through now. As Dan looks up the inside, that's a very audacious move there from Dan. And it just didn't pay off. And now John Boy's gotten the run on Dan. So John Boy, I wonder if John Boy gonna look around the outside. No, is Dan gonna move to the outside? No, he defends up the inside. Is John Boy gonna look up the inside? No, he's gonna look around the outside. He's gonna stick to his racing line. The only G going very sideways through that corner right there. As we're in the final 12 laps of this race now, which will be around about 10 minutes left, I think. But John by looking up the inside of Von Orthodox, it just does not work there. As Unorthodubs is still defending there from John Boy. John Boy looking up the inside of Dan. Ooh, getting very close there to getting touchy touchy, feedy feedy. Not what we want to see from two very fast drivers here in this um, the Sim Zone race, but currently the only G is in the lead. Um, Dan still holding it up there from John Boy. John Boy just trying his best to get through. 
uh, Dan, but Dan doing an amazing job to hold up that little Clio. Um, truly amazing racing from these guys. Love to see it every single week. There's always great racing in these Clios. Um, between everyone and anyone is able to race these Clios really well. But the only G currently on his way to get his second win. As Dan has now gotten the lead back from the Oni G. The Oni G got a slowdown there. I just noticed that. Um, as they're into the final nine laps. One person I want to go check on. Sam Thumbfinger. He's got 11 laps of uh, 11 litres of fuel left. Yeah, he'll have enough fuel to make it to the end. Probably just about. Uh, as Unortho Dubs and John Boy and the o the only G's got a penalty. I've just noticed that the only G's got a one second time penalty. Oh no! So the only G might have just thrown himself out of contention for this win. So now it's between John Boy and Unortho Dubs. As they're all literally going nose to tail, John Boy's literally in an admin sandwich right now. John Boy is going to look up the inside, but no. Dan blocks him off there. The only G is going to look around the outside. John Boy is going to look up the inside. Dan's now in a sandwich here. But Dan makes it out of that sandwich alive. And he cuts back across the track there. I think that might have been a wee bit dirty there from Dan. But it is what it is. Rubin's racing. Um, he keeps the inside there. G trying his best to get around him. But to no avail. Dan is an amazingly great defender in these Cleos. Order Morgan doing his best. He has made a 10 second gap to 8th place. So the worst he'll finish now is 7th place. He's going to want to try and get a move on though. To try and maybe get up more positions. Um, it's like he's driving a ghost race right now. He really deserves this win. But he's just been screwed over by driving into the pit lane too fast. It's the only G's looking around the outside. Ooh, he just keeps on track there. He could have gone into the gravel and lost it like he did at the start of the race. Um, he looks around the outside. No, it doesn't work. He bumps the back of Dan again. The amount of times they've bumped going through that corner. These three have just been battling so close for the past 20-odd laps now. Some amazing racing going on right now. Orthodubs and John Boy just need to keep their nose clean. As so we just see the flash from there. These two literally going side by side, banging doors. Dan could probably look to his left and just say hi to G. Ooh, as uh, John Boy just gets past G there, they're going side by side now. I just, I don't even know what to say. These guys have just got so much close racing. Um, G holding off John Boy though, but you know, G does have that one second time penalty. I'm just going to quickly check. Yeah, it's still one second of time penalties. Um, and John Boy will know that as Windsor just gets in the way there a wee bit. Um, Dan flashing his lights. G looking all over the place. John looking up the inside, looking up the outside. Where's he trying to go? He's going to try and go around the outside, but to no avail. It's not going to work there, mate. As G looks around the outside, but he goes way too wide, and John Boy just gets it up. Lovely there. As Motor Morgan has pulled out nearly a four-second gap to these guys. Motor Morgan so deserves this win. But it's just so painful that he went too fast into the pit lane. 
Dan now gapping these two. As the only G and John Boy are going side by side yet again. Just the amount of side by side action from these guys. G makes it work going up the inside there. G is just holding up John Boy from getting a potential first win here in the Sim Zone Clio Cup. Um, trying to chase down Dan, but G's just getting in the way more and more. He's probably screaming out his windows at G to try and get his, uh, his buttocks moving on. Excuse me, as uh, John Boy is going to be uh, so. The current way it will finish, if it finishes right now, it will be unorthodox. John Boy, the only G, as your top three, and Motor Morgan will drop all the way down to seventh place, gifting everyone from second to seventh a free position. So that would mean John Boy would be third, Piopney fourth, Meltadazzer fifth, Dolores. Uh, 6th. Yeah, that's how it would be. That's the only G looking around the outside. The, the last thing either one of these want to do is take out the other one. The only G looking up the inside. Uh, Dan cheekily blocks him off. John Boy and the only G making it 3 wide. The only G. Ooh, heavy impact there on the back of Dan. But Dan still has the lead right now. G pushing him through these corners. And John Boy's just dropped right off the back of these guys. He does need to stay within a second of the only G. Um, which it seems he's just about doing. As these two are literally they're going side by side. Ugh, I need to stop yawning, apologies for that. Down through these corners and John Boy cashing back up. They're going side by side through here. Is G going to get a better exit though? It's all going to come down to the exit now. Who can get to turn one first basically? It seems they're still going wheel to wheel side by side. Dan goes to block him off but nearly takes him off the track. G hanging it around the outside. Is G going to keep it around the outside? No he's not. He's going to have to concede that position. Ooh! Very close there, it looked like, to going off the track. And John Boy's caught right back up, so that's relegated G to net P3 once again um, behind these boys. As they're actually, they're on the final lap, I've just noticed. Uh, I've only just copped onto that. So, Motomorian is going to come across to finish the race first, but he will definitely not be in first place. So, it will be... Unorthodox leading. Um, oh, as John Boy looking up the inside of the Oni G. He doesn't need to do this, but he's gonna get the Oni G right on the line, I think. No, he's not. So it will be Unorthodox to take a win. It will be John Boy, the Oni G. Um, Motor Morgan's gonna drop down even further. It will be. Um, so Motor Morgan, Melted Dazzer, Piopni. Ah, yes. 
Penalties, even more penalties. So, it is. Okay, let's run through this. On all the dubs, John Boy, The Only G, Motor Morgan, Melted Dazzler, Piopni, uh, Delore, Grandad Stee, Sam Thumbfinger in 10th. It is Falgast, Vliegrek in 11th, Kurt to come round the final corner in 12th place. Then uh, Craig, McGlenn, and Windsor. Let's watch Kurt come across the line here. Amazing drive from these guys. Truly, truly amazing driving. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's quickly look at the standings here. It is Unorthodubs uh, getting his first win of the night and only win of the night. John Boy in second. Uh, the only G to get another podium for tonight. Moda Morgan. Honestly, I'm shocked that he got fourth. I thought he was going to drop down even further. But, you know, amazing drive there. He 100% deserved the win with that 10 second time penalty. Oh, that is painful. Then it is Melted Dazzler, Pjopni. Delore, Grandad Stee, Sam Thumbfinger, Falgast, Vliegrek, Kurt, Craig, McGlenn, Windsor, and I believe it was Cobb that uh, DNF'd. So that is some amazing drivers. My name is Green Pies. Make sure you come back. Um, not sure what nights. Uh, I'll quickly check the uh, schedule. Um, so our next race will be on Saturdays. It will be Project Cars. Um, GT3s um, on Saturday at 6pm make sure you come and watch that that'll be some amazing racing um, th this was some amazing racing make sure you come back and watch the rest of the season um, until then though I'm Green Pies uh, or Killian whichever one you want to call me um, and have a good night guys